Poly Network Multi-Chain Interoperability Protocol has been the victim of a mining, losing around $600 million in various cryptocurrencies. Mumbai-based crypto exchange CoinDCX has become India's first billion-dollar exchange after raising $90 million in a Series C funding round. South African Internal Revenue Service SARS, tightens regulations on taxing digital assets such as cryptocurrencies up to 45%. SEC Chairman Gary Gensler recently hinted that he would be more open to accepting ETFs based on crypto futures than through direct contact. PayPal's popular Venmo app has announced a cash back to crypto feature that allows their credit card users to claim the payment of spending rewards in one of four cryptocurrencies the platform supports. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash or Litecoin. 1. Poly Network Multi-Chain Interoperability Protocol has been the victim of a mining, losing around $600 million in various cryptocurrencies. According to an announcement on Twitter, Poly Network was hacked on Binance Chain, Ethereum and Polygon. Poly Network urged crypto exchanges to blacklist any tokens coming from these addresses. As such, this is the biggest crypto hack to date. The previous record was held by Exchange Coincheck, which lost around $530 million to hackers in January 2018. 2. Mumbai-based crypto exchange CoinDCX has become India's first billion-dollar exchange after raising $90 million in a Series C funding round. This is funding led by B Capital Group, a VC firm of Eduardo Savarin, the Facebook co-founder. Following the investment round, CoinDCX reached a valuation of $1.1 billion, placing the company on par with crypto giants like Binance and Ripple. Now governments around the globe have begun to experiment with implementations of cryptocurrencies and blockchain at different levels. However, the government of India is still unclear about its stance on cryptocurrencies, so coins move to the unicorn list is not yet in the sights of regulators. 3. South African Internal Revenue Service SARS, tightens regulations on taxing digital assets such as cryptocurrencies up to 45%. As defined by the Income Tax Act, cryptocurrency is a financial instrument, main, rather than, currency. This specificity of the definition of cryptocurrency allows regulators to treat crypto assets differently from traditional monetary assets. As with many other countries around the globe, the authorities that govern SARS have recently revealed a more serious stance on regulations and taxes. In June, the South African Reserve Bank SARB, announced that crypto investors in the country can no longer use cross-border transfers or foreign exchange to purchase crypto assets. 4. SEC Chairman Gary Gensler recently hinted that he would be more open to accepting ETFs based on crypto futures than through direct contact. Securities and Exchange Commission Filings United States, Van Eck filed a prospectus for a Bitcoin strategy exchange traded fund on August 9. Unlike its Bitcoin, BTC, or Ether, ETH, ETFs currently under review by the agency federally, the proposed fund will not invest directly in BTC, but provides visibility through Bitcoin futures contracts, synthetic investment vehicles, and other exchange-traded products. SEC Chairman Gary Gensler recently suggested that he would be more open to accepting ETFs based on crypto futures contracts rather than having direct exposure. 5. PayPal's popular Venmo app has announced a cash back to crypto feature that allows their credit card users to claim the payment of spending rewards in one of four cryptocurrencies the platform supports. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash or Litecoin. The new crypto cashback program reflects how parent company PayPal is rapidly expanding its crypto ambitions. In recent months, CEO Dan Schulman has laid out a broad vision for cryptocurrencies that requires building wallet services and even suggested that crypto could be integral to the business future stimulus plans. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon as well.